much on my mind. Too much on my mind. Too much on my mind. Too much on my mind. Soul of the City program was created to inspire leadership and civic participation among D.C.'s young people. The program encourages young citizens to make their voices heard and to take an active role in improving the city in which they live. Participants use the humanities disciplines to identify key political, social, and community issues while devising original solutions to common challenges. This year's participants work with scholars, experts in media production, and educators to examine past and present struggles for equal citizenship. They visited museums and culturally significant neighborhoods throughout the city to create a humanities project documenting their experience. 2012 has been a great success. I mean, I believe the kids got a lot out of it, and I think uh, it was very rewarding for me as well as a facilitator. Um, it taught me a lot, and um, I'm so glad that they took well to the spoken word curriculum uh, I implemented within uh, the time at, at Soul of the City. Uh, they loved Pepper. They loved, you know, the haikus. It, it just was amazing to see them, you know, be excited about writing a haiku. Do you guys remember how to write haikus? Yeah. Okay, somebody, you know som me, somebody tell me what a haiku is and how, how you write a haiku. Go ahead. For years, D.C. has fought to gain statehood for the nation's capital, but to no avail. We, the nation's capital, pay the highest tax per capita, yet we have no representation in Congress. This is unjust and therefore must end. Besides the says, do you know who we are? We see those looks. Why take it that far? We are not a state, but we still should be treated equally. Yet we have no representation in Congress. We are in a state where we will lose our minds. Have you lost yours yet? Get it together, D.C. The participants visited the Smithsonian National Museum of American History, where the Education Department staff led them on personalized tours of two popular exhibits. The Paradox of Liberty helped them understand how the author of the Declaration of Independence reconciled his belief in freedom and equality with his lifelong ownership of slaves. American Stories examined the evolution of American society and showed the participants how our country's diverse cultures have struggled for equality throughout history. A living history interpretation of the Greensboro lunch counter sit-ins was underway as the group left the museum and they were able to take part in the performance. The Soul of the City group went to Capitol Hill to learn about the legislative process, tour the Capitol, and visit DC Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton. Throughout the program, participants had a diverse group of guest speakers to discuss youth voting rights, the voting process, and the challenges facing equality. Poets like I Am Press use verse to discuss civic responsibilities. High technology and 21st century production techniques were a popular attraction at DCTV Studios. Bob Thomas facilitated the visit. I think the kids got a lot out. I think everybody's always energetic when you see that green screen. That's always an issue. Or even when kids are just here for the summer because it's required by the staff to make sure that they learn at least two things. It was prompting, it was camera, it was editing, but something when they leave here that they can use in the real world. I have a question. You know how when they're doing the news, right, and they're doing the weather? Mm -hmm. How do they know? It's exactly a green this. screen, but how do they know where to point? They when the weather person doing, do they'll look like this. Hey, how you doing today? Okay, Terrible. it's going to be sunny day. Now let me show you. Let's go to the map. And they click and they go like yeah, this. Yeah, they be like, Say here, here, go here. Yeah, if they're looking at the screen, as they're, as they're, they're pointing. The but you usually have them, like, see that prompter here? You usually have a monitor over here, and in the prompter they show what's in the picture. News directors Askia Muhammad and Gloria Minot shared insights about live radio and independent media. The definition of news it's sort of, it's something that you didn't know. It's news to you. All the programs, all the content doesn't always do that, but then technically that's what we do. And that's what, that's what, what we try to do. 
is striving for a, a sort of a perfection. As a culminating effort, a film competition was developed to engage students in the process of pulling all of the media pieces gathered throughout the various weeks together. The editing workshops, the you know, the camera workshops with Kareem were amazing. The kids absolutely loved that too. In fact, right now they're working on editing a video for a video competition they're doing um, in an effort to win uh, a slot on. DCTV and also to be on the DC Humanities Council's website. The program culminated in the creation of a photo and poetry book documenting the participants' experience. A final celebration allowed the students to showcase their filmmaking, writing, and photography talents and discuss what they learned about citizenship equality. Here I am thinking again, all lost in my brain. When I know I should get up and get out of bed I gotta keep moving But here I am lost all up inside my brain Can't stop thinking, reminiscing Can't stop, can't let go When I wake up And one day I will do it Yeah, 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 yeah. I have let you go And everything I went through was beautiful I have let you go And everything I went through was beautiful my name is Khadija and I really liked the trip today because it was very informative and I learned a lot of new things that I didn't know, I had no idea about and I liked it a lot. My name is Kiyadu and I learned that uh, the history changed over time and I 